In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the waitlist feature to your shop. For example, as you see, email when available button is here. I can join the waitlist, email when available. Now as a shop owner, I can go to the back end, view the waitlist and send the email. And if the email is sent, I can customize the title and the content. And if clicked on the buy now button, it will be redirected to the product. It's gonna take only a couple of minutes to set it up. So if you're interested, then jump in. And now let's get started by going to the dashboard, go to the plugins, add new and search for waitlist WooCommerce. This one here. So install it and activate it. After that, you'll see a WC waitlist menu on the left. Go to the settings first and choose whether to show your waitlist form in pop-up or inline or inline toggle. I'm going to show you later what is what. You can choose whether to activate the waitlist for quests. I leave it as it is. I, I'm not going to show it on archive or shop pages, but I'm going to show it for backorder products. Here you can change the button text, form heading, join waitlist and so on. Later you'll see what is what, then it's a bit easier for you to understand. So let's save it. Next, let's open up the email fields. As you see, we have two fields, user email and quantity. If you would like to add some other fields, then it's a pro feature. Just click on the button and it will redirect you to the pro page. As you see for single site, it costs only $14. At the moment, I'm going to disable the quantity field. I just need the email field to be activated. So once again, I'm going to save it, go back to the settings, open up the email settings. So from email, from name, and those are the settings for the emails you're going to send out later. If you would like that the logo, then just choose it here. For example, this one here. Whether to show the product image in emails, I'm going to leave it on. It would be wise to check whether the product is actually in stock or not. So I'm going to activate the force check product stock status email subject. And here are the list of placeholders you can use. For example, I'm going to grab this one product name. The product you wanted is back in stock. Heading and content. Now, as before, you can customize the email content with the placeholders here. If you would like to add one new line here, just paste this one here. Product ID, numbers, headings, and so on. Save it. And if you would like to preview the email, then just click on this button. And this is your preview. This is a product image. Let's see what happens if I deactivate it. Save it, refresh it, and now it looks like this. So I'm going to reactivate it once again, and this will give you the hint how to customize your emails like this. Let's save it and move back up. Here is a style. We're going to take a closer look to it later. And next one, info. As you see, there are some short codes, but pop-up is only for pro version. Now let's see how does it work. I'm going to go to the products. There is an out of stock product. Let's take a look at it. As you see, email me when available. When I click on it, it will open up the pop up. And now if we're going to go to the settings once again, as you see, button text, email me when available. And it's a pop up version. If you would like to customize your pop up, then go to the style. As you see, there is a pop up position middle, width, height, sidebar image. This one here, if you would like to replace it, then just uh, remove this one here and add your own image. Sidebar position left, sidebar width, and so on. Now button, this one here, let's change it. For example, this one, save it, refresh it. And as you see, button color is changed. It will change the button color both for product and for, for pop-up. 
Now, since I don't like pop-ups, I'm gonna set it to inline, save it, and let's see what happens now. Inline version is this one here, and inline toggle. Let's save this one. If we click it, it will open up down below. I like this the most, therefore I'm gonna leave it as it is. Let's add some kind of email to the waiting list. Email me when available. You are now in waitlist. And if we go to the users, pay attention, WC waitlist users, then we'll see that there is a person who are waiting for this product. If I click on view, it will send me the details. Joined on 4th January, email. And if I click on send, as you see, it says product is out of stock, cannot send email. Why is that? It's because we activated Fort check product stock status. Therefore, it controls whether the product is in stock or not. Now let's change the stock status here. Let's update it. I'm going to refresh it. Send email. It's sending and says email sent. And now this is the email the customer receives. The product demo, you want it is back in stock. And this is the email content with a buy now button. This is a logo we added before. And as said previously, if you would like to style the content of your email, then this is a place to go. Subject, heading, content, and buy now button. Now let's refresh this one here. As you see, the product is in stock and therefore no waitlist button is shown. But if I open up the other one that is out of stock, for example, this one here, the button is here. If you would like to customize it, then just inspect it. Choose this class here. Set the background, for example, some padding, maybe a border. And now it looks much better. And you can add this to the custom CSS, which is in a customizer. Just choose this class here and grab the code, paste it and save it. So to demonstrate it, I'm going to copy, go to customizer, let's open it up and additional CSS, paste, I'm going to add classes, now add the styling, publish it, let's refresh the page and as you see it looks much better. Now this is one way how to bring your customers back to your site. But I have also made a video about how to show a contact form if the product is out of stock. It will replace the out of stock message and will show the contact form. So if you're interested, then take a look at the video you see on the screen right now, because in this one, I'm gonna show you this solution. Meanwhile, let me know in the comments, how did you like the video and take care.